Okay, this is the brief gross anatomy of the brain. As you can see, the parts are now separated from the carcass. This makes the brain as a whole, but it lacks the cerebellum. It was removed. This part, the most prominent one, the bigger part here, forms the cerebrum, the cerebrum, and this is the brainstem. So now if we are to take the bigger part of the brain, which forms the full brain, this is called the cerebrum, this is the lateral hemisphere of the cerebrum, this is the other lateral hemisphere of the cerebrum. So this is the cerebrum, which is otherwise called the telencephalon otherwise called the telencephalon. It has three surfaces. It has the dorsolateral surface, which is convex, dorsolateral. It has the medial surface. It has the ventral surface, which is rough. Then, looking at the dorsolateral surface of the cerebrum, we have here, this place is called the lateral rhinal sulcus lateral rhinal sulcus and this transverse fissure is the this transverse fissure is the sylvian fissure it is called sylvian fissure or lateral cerebral fissure the cerebrum has lobes which are named just as the bones we have of the skull according to their location within the cranium here 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 you can name it as the one this line we have already named it as lateral lateral sulcus here is the sylvian fissure so the lobe here which is most caudal is the occipital lobe of the cerebrum the lobe here which is lateral is the temporal lobe and the lobe just dorsal to the temporal lobe is the parietal lobe of the cerebrum. The lobe of the cerebrum here, which is rostral to both the parietal here and the temporal here, is called the frontal lobe. It's called the frontal lobe. Well, we have another lobe here. This lobe is called the pediform lobe. As you can see, we said this is the sylvian fissure. This is the lateral renal uh, sulcus. Mm -hmm. So this sylvian fissure divides the lateral renal sulcus into rostral and caudal part. Mm -hmm. So this rostral lateral, this is the rostral lateral renal sulcus, and this is the caudal lateral, lateral renal sulcus. Mm -hmm. So the lobe that is ventral to the caudal lateral renal sulcus is the piriform mm -hmm. lobe. Yes. It's the piriform lobe. So all the lobes of the cerebrum that are located dorsal to the lateral renal sulcus are called the neocortex. We have mentioned them earlier on. The occipital, the temporal, the parietal, and the frontal lobe. While the lobes that are located ventral to the lateral renal sulcus we have the, are called the renencephalon. Part of it is the is the one, the one most prominent here is the piriform lobe. Then the rest we have the olfactory both and other that are within here. The olfactory tract, the olfactory lobe, the olfactory bones, and the hippocampus are all part of the renencephalon.